welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Don't take anything personally. Your truth is personal to you. Your own, your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It's no one's truth but yours. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 288, NASDAQ is down 100, SP's off one. Gold, gold contract trading up $14.40, trading at 2,345.50 an ounce. Silver flat, $29.94 an ounce, late sweet crude up 87 cents. $81.60 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note, flat, 110.16. The 30 year up seven ticks at 120 even. And King Dollar. King Dollar is trading down 315 ticks, 105, 481. Euro 107, yen 159, British pound 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? And, and the world of the NASDAQ. We're going to the NASDAQ futures first. Let's take a look because the NASDAQ futures are getting some pressure. What a few of Tech stocks like NVIDIA. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So right now, you don't have a high volume low. So the bottom line is, is that what we're doing right now is that we're coming into the lows that were established out here at uh, 1040 a.m. this morning, and those are definitely big sells. And you're coming into that. Let's look at this. 309, yeah. Okay, so we're going lower. So we're coming into this with nine minutes into a 10 minute bar with 10,000 contracts versus 23,000 and 29,000. And that's telling me that this is gonna be really a hard place to get through. That's what it comes down to. So specifically, let's do this. It's right there. No, it's right here. What number is that? 19,866. So 19,866 would be a normal, it pulls up, Goes into another high volume low. We'll see whether it makes it. My take is that we're actually not even going to make it. If we don't even make it, that's just telling us that we're going to have selling pressure coming into the. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, it, it just did a point. <laughs> it was an exact point three eight two retracement from the high that was made today at ten o'clock this morning to the low that was made about uh, forty minutes ago. E-minis. Let's go look at the E-minis. Do the same type of exercise here. Okay. Man, yeah, we're dealing with the exact same deal. We're at 5534. Five, you know, we don't have a high volume low, but bottom line is that what you're coming into right now, you're coming into 39,000 contracts. The last 10 minute bar, we did 20. We're on a new bar right now. When you're going into 39 and doing 20, your probability is not that great that you're going to basically get through that area. Gold. Let's go take a look at the gold contract out here. Gold's up, uh, what, 15 bucks? Yeah, 14.90. And we only have 109,000 contracts. Now, that's. That's going to need more contract volume as you trade the higher price. Right now, you don't have it. And my take, by the way, folks, is that gold's going to run down to 22.42. My take is that we're going to run right here with a break the consolidation, come all the way down, you know, and that has to do with this good old U.S. dollar. Let's take a look at the dollar. I suspect this week, next week, this dollar is going to make that 107. Now, it's not doing it today, that's for sure. You're back 315. 315 ticks today. You're still in the larger range, but this has been stair stepping up. I, I, I figure that's where we're going. We go to the silver market. We take a look at silver. Silver trading at 29.95. 23,000 contracts. I expect silver with the get down to like the 2650 area. Right now we're 29. The, the bottom of this consolidation is 29. 
2904. That being said, my take is that it's going to bust this consolidation. We'll see how it shakes out. What we have done, we came down to the consolidation a few weeks ago with heavy volume. We tested it with lighter volume. That, that, that's what we normally do. We didn't get the acceleration on the way up, as you can see today. The dollar is still higher. That's telling me that this thing wants to basically get down lower. We'll see how that shakes out. Notes and bonds, they, they're, just, they're just hanging right where they are. Now, notes and bonds are in, in consolidation also. And what you have here, you, you get two different places in the note and bond market, of course. The, we're at the top of this consolidation. And, you know, we'll see whether it can bust topside. My take is that it's not going to go bust topside. And, you know, the other side of this, we're, we're at 110.16 and 109 is game again. In fact, let me go look at the TLT because I hadn't looked at the TLT. So the TLT is the 20 plus. Well, I don't know. The TLT looks pretty good today. Yeah. So there's divergence there. The TLT looks good. There's 37 million shares here trading the TLT. Hmm. That's a heads up, meaning that there can be that note and bond market. There's divergence, meaning that in the TLT, it looks like it wants to go higher. The note and bond market are flat. And where I'm still going with this whole deal is about the dollar, because the dollar moves everything. We take a look at the uh, inside the, oh, let's go to NVIDIA. So check this out, because I want to show you where I'm getting this, this number. So NVIDIA, we hit, uh, what, you hit 140, you trade trading 120. And I suspect these gaps are going to with I suspect what's going to happen with Nvidia is going to come back to its breakout area, and that's ninety six dollars and two cents. That's how this thing looks to be shaken, which which by the way <laughs> would would be just a normal retracement. That wouldn't be a big deal. But that's that's the reality. It would, retracement wise, it wouldn't be a big deal. Now, dollar wise, it's a huge deal. There's no doubt about that. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 276, Nasdaq's down 102, S&Ps are up 2.5, stay right there folks, come right back.